There we go. Hey folks, it's us again. We're uh, giving you a new, another scenic tour from uh, the Champlain Mall district on Main Street. Uh, Michelle is going to be flipping the camera around every so often. And you may notice by by now one thing about this city. If you're actually looking at the city from the main roads, it all looks pretty much the same. Because there's trees there, there's asphalt here, there's salt everywhere. Yeah, well in winter time, salt is actually uh, a big issue because it cakes everything. Yeah, and we're in back of a pickup truck. Yeah. Sniffing their uh, exhaust fumes. <sighs> I wouldn't say so far as sniffing. Otherwise we'd have... Uh, our nose up to the tailpipe. At least, we, at least we, we'd be warm. We'd be dead shortly after. Yeah. Losing consciousness from uh, an increase in CO2 levels. Thus uh, eliminating the possibility of our bloodstream uh, sucking up oxygen. Well, Yay for CSI. <laughs> Yay! Oop, dropped my glove. He dropped his glove and he's dropped the camera. Oh my god! No, no, I didn't drop the camera. To the left, we have the Pisces restaurant, which used to be Chez Gaston. Uh, it's now uh, by Gaston. By so, Gaston? Well, it's Pisces, bye -bye. By, Pisces by Gaston. Here's the Rod's Park House Inn. Owner of the business. You couldn't... probably can't see it too well because of the glare from the sunlight. Well, the bastards... And the salt on, 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 on the windshield. Oh, hold on. Let's... Thank you. I tried to take Hint. the salt off of Hint, hint, hint. You could have yelled at me, it would have actually made a difference. People that you, that own the business actually never gave a chance to my wife when she was applying for a job there. Ah, mm. uh, it it hurts, it hurts, it hurts, oh, oh, better. I love this poster, Be Your Office Hero from Dooley's. Now, to the left, there's going to be un the unfortunate remnants of... Cavapap, uh, Chateau Apap. Chateau Apap. Which just burned down very recently. Yep. It used to be one of the most uh, the most up upscale restaurants in the, in the city. Yep. And I don't know if they're gonna be rebuilt, rebuilt it or not, but it, it, was, it was a landmark for many, many years. It, it's been there, what, 20, 30 years? Thereabouts. And it's, uh, it's all. Now, was it, was it an accident or was it arson? We don't know. I think it was accidental, but look at this. Yeah, what a mess. The Shoto Pop have their own uh, wine cellar. You could also bring your own wine at certain points and in the year. They were rare vintages that you couldn't really buy much anywhere else around here. Of course, uh, as in rare, they were expensive, so... Based on the amount of damage, I'd have to say that the fire seems to have started more at the top than the bottom, but I'm not an expert. Some schmuck with his creme brulee and decided to brulee it himself and burn the place down. Yeah, no, that would be a bad taste joke. <laughs> yes. I don't think creme brulee was an issue, otherwise we would have heard about it in the news that they, the people panicked and fled. And it's such a pity because it was one of the venues for the the Hubcap Comedy Festival during uh, every year. They used to have stand-up comics in the main the main dining room, where I uh, actually had my wedding. You remember the Million Dollar Room? Mm -hmm. That's where they actually had everything. In this area, this is this was something interesting. Unfortunately, it's no longer that for the moment. This I, is where you used to go come, come to see the tidal bore. Yeah, well, do we still do? But it's not... Do you still have the stands here to sit on? I don't think so. Uh, yeah. But there's no real way to actually go down. To M Michelle's um, right, there's the Trites House, which is one of the historical houses that got moved to this point in the city. Um, I forget how old it is, but I do know it's very, very old. It's very old and it got uh, rebuilt and remodeled a few years and ago. And it's low tide, so there's no point to actually go see the tidal bore. Well, we can't see it anyway. There's ice flow between us and the Petit Gojek anyway. Yeah. So, uh, so unless you want to go tromping along on a muddy river and maybe fall in and get some E. coli, I don't, I don't think it's a good idea. Yeah, but we'll show you the muddy river and it's grand glory. 
anytime soon. Yeah, we go kayaking in there someday. And kayaking? Get, gonna get lost. Oh, Jesus Christ. Kayaking. Yeah, yeah sure, okay. Kayaking. Mud kayaking. <laughs> Here's the fun part. I came through here. I won't be able to go up on Main Street. I don't think you're... Can you even turn left here? I can. But I have to get some non-traffic. As soon as that car moves out of my way, I'm still gonna have a few. This is uh, this is like ants. I feel like I've roused. The actual. No, no, I'm in the wrong lane. That's okay. I'll take the place of this vehicle. And we have the stores all on Main Street, Bogart's Restaurant, Bar and Grill, the Keg Steakhouse. Pastelli is right here on Michelle's right. Which Very is good place to eat. Like, best like Italian, Italian food. place in Moncton, in my opinion. Do not go to Vito's. No. No, Do Vito's. Do not go to Vito's until they decide to have a change of management or a change of operational status on what they actually consider a sauce for pasta. Do not go. Yeah, uh, honestly, there's fast food that's better food and cheaper food, and which I'll get We've there. We got uh, Cora's Ben Breakfast downtown. Here's a Tim's, which I think is still operating. It still is. It's the prettiest Tim's in the in, in It city. is because it's in a historical building. We use, we now have the uh, Irish Triangle. Never tried it. Never been there. I'll have to eventually. There's the Paramount Theater, uh, which is right next to a sushi house. Two sushi bars that are going to be here. Dooley's used to be here on Main Street. They moved to a bigger flagship. Nobody's. Well, oh. Here's the Capitol Theater. Then I have to show you this on foot. My car, it's not the best. And the Cage, which used to be the, uh, a bunch of other places. The Vendong Restaurant, which is uh, right next to the top of the hall. You can't say that Moncton doesn't have selection in food. That's true. There's the Garden House restaurant, which apparently has some pretty decent fare from what I've heard. Home cooked meals. There's uh, the hotel downtown right, the, right across from uh, uh, Highfield Square, which I'm trying to remember what the name of the, the hotel used to be before they changed it to the Crown Royal. I forget. Was it, was it the Brunswick? No, it wasn't. I think it was, no, I think it might have been. Either way. I mean, say, There's uh, a restaurant here that you have to come if you ever come to Moncton. It's called Graffiti's. Best Greek in Moncton, apparently. Uh, well, yeah, it's pretty much the only Greek in Moncton. There's one or two other places, and that's about it. Yeah, here's the Times and Transcript building. Yay! Owned and operated by Irving Paper. Ooh. Here's the Acadian bus lines. Here's Reed's New Stands, Moncton's own very best literature place for paperbacks, uh, actually magazines mostly. Uh, Derek's Reef Shop for marine fish, freshwater tank services. There's Bima Medi, a hair studio. There used to be a couple of other stores here. There's a Highfield Square, which is crumbling ever so slowly. The, the, I think the rent is too high because they've got some businesses in there that have moved out to other locations. It's the in same the city. thing with Champlain Mall. They, they, it's what forty dollars a month per square foot, or more, and depending on their their profit margins, the people just can't afford it. Yeah, well, there's a difference between moving out because you're not making any money and moving out because you find it too expensive. Uh, moving up because you are making money, but the mall, your aim is taking it all. Yeah, here's the Dominion Public Building. Also at the uh, past the corner there, where Michelle's pointing towards scaffolding. This is one of the Moncton's historical buildings, uh, currently inhabited by the, some federal departments of our Canadian government. The building, I can't even remember what year it was built. Uh, actually, it sits at the very top, but I can't see over my fedora. Yeah. And there's. Uh, there's some of it. There's a crane. Yeah. Ooh, a crane. Crane because they're actually oh, did they actually demolish the bu have they demolished the building here? No, yeah, they haven't. They, they, well, no, the Tims, they haven't. We're actually going to bring you across towards Riverview this time around because there's something new to my left. 
There's a new building that wasn't there for those that were in Moncton. It now occupies Good Life, the shoe tree who moved out of Highfield to go into there.